Kate Middleton and Prince William are now the proud parents of Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. They married in their unforgettable 2011 royal wedding, after first meeting as students in 2001. However, in 2007, the young couple faced a bump on the road to wedded bliss. Biographer Andrew Morton, in his 2011 book William and Catherine, delves into the split that he claims Kate's friends welcomed. Mr. Morton writes, in April 2007, when Clarence House unofficially let the world know that the romance between Willem and Kate had run its course, few of her friends shed a tear. The prevailing reaction for most of them was, thank goodness that's over. For years they had watched helplessly as Kate, whose university dissertation had been on Lewis Carroll, had gradually disappeared down the royal rabbit hole into the Windsor Wonderland, leaving her friends out in the cold. One of Kate's circle told Mr. Morton, during her time with William she upset a lot of friends by not making the effort to see them. Mr. Morton also writes about how Kate had been unhappy in the relationship when William made her feel treated like a servant. He writes, Obstinate and strong-willed, William could be an overwhelming presence and, at times, Kate felt taken for granted, treated like a servant rather than his girlfriend. University friend of the couple Michael Chung told Mr. Morton, he could be flip and curt with her. She didn't like it when he ignored her and got into conversation with someone as though she wasn't there. He expected Kate to run after him and the longer they knew each other the more he seemed to keep her on a tight leash. Another friend said, it was an edgy relationship. They were always in and out. Mr. Morton continues, there were often spats, rows and breakups and William and Kate tried to find their way both as young adults and as a couple. The pair had a brief separation in 2007, after Prince William was unsure of their future together, according to royal author Katie Nichol. Mr. Morton adds that the young prince was tempted away from Kate by the promise of a hard-partying bachelor lifestyle. He writes, there was an emotional conflict, while Kate had made it clear that she wanted a commitment from her man, Prince William, according to close friends, was not so sure. Siren voices were calling suggesting that the grass was greener on the other side of the fence for an unsettled suitor, temptation came in the form of his fellow officers of the Blues and Royals, nicknamed the Booze and Royals. Miss Nicholl, speaking in documentary Prince William at 30, added, Unfortunately, pictures of him on a podium dancing with a pretty blonde, they emerged and William looked like he was having far too much fun, certainly to Kate who called the shots and said well, you can't have it both ways. And he said well then, we're going to take a break. William saw the error of his ways and whisked Kate off on a romantic Seychelles getaway that summer, where they made a secret pact of commitment to each other. By 2010, he was ready to propose and secretly tucked his mother's world-famous engagement ring into his backpack to surprise Kate with when he proposed to her in the remote Kenyan mountains.